Our Father, we thank you for today. We worship and adore you. Excellent Spirit of God, we thank you for your wonders. We thank you for the mighty things you're doing in our lives. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, O God of heaven, because you are our God. Thank you for being our bridegroom. Thank you for being our source of joy. Thank you for being our exceeding great reward. We give you all the praise. We return all the glory to you in Jesus' name. Because you are on the throne, Lord, because you are on the throne, because you are on the throne, I know that it is well with my soul. Your word tells me so, and I believe that because you are on the throne, I know it is well. Jesus, because you are on the throne, because you are on the throne, because you are on the throne, I know that it is well with my soul. Your word tells me so, and I believe that because you are on the throne, it is well. Jesus loves me, this I know, for my Bible tells me so, little words to him belong, there are we, but he is strong, <laughs> yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Sing with me, yes, Jesus loves me. For my Bible tells me so. You reign in majesty, you reign in majesty. I bless you, Lord. Marebo sonori ma sendiri yara. Lord, I bless you, Lord. Karebo sonori ma sendiri. You reign victoriously. <laughs> you reign in majesty. I bless you, Lord. King of kings, I bless you, Lord. Oh, Lord, for you are Lord of lords. <laughs> King of kings, you are the giver of good things. You reign victoriously. You gave us life abundantly. We bless you, Lord. Oh, yes, King of kings, we bless you, Lord. For you are Lord of lords. You are king of kings. <laughs> you fought and gave us the victory. Oh Lord, you reign in majesty. You reign in majesty. I bless you, Lord. King of kings, I bless you, Lord. There is no power to be compared to you, Jesus. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Jesus. Lord, you are beautiful. You are awesome in all your ways. There is none to be compared to you. I searched all over. Couldn't find any to be compared to you, Jesus. I return all the praise to you. I've come, O God of heaven, to render this sacrifice of worship to you. May it be acceptable in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, I bring you greetings in Jesus' name. This is the month of August. Our month of multiplication. And this morning, the Lord dropped something in my spirit that I want to share with us. He said that he is our bridegroom and we are his bride hallelujah 
Kalebro Sundere Bashendere. What a privilege. Maya Rabo Suntele Brakita Raba Sendere. Maya Raba Suntoli Ibrahim Raba. We are his bride. And I quickly picked up my iPad and I began to search for the duties of a groom to his bride. And I saw wonderful responsibilities. I searched and I saw that a groom will always protect his bride. A groom will always provide for his bride. A groom will not allow evil to befall his bride. The Bible says the bride was brought out of the groom's ribs. And so whatever affects the bride affects the groom. I will read Isaiah 54, verse 5. Hallelujah. The Bible says there, For your husband is your maker. The God of heaven is your husband. He created you for his pleasure. He created you to suit his need, to suit his desires. You are his bride. He says, The Lord of hosts is his name. And your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, who is called the God of the whole earth. You are his bride. He is your groom. When a woman comes to her husband and her husband looks at her countenance and sees that the woman is a bit moody her husband will do everything to see to it that he restores back the smile and the joy of his bride you are his bride he says he will never leave you nor forsake you it doesn't matter the situation you find yourself you are his bride, and he cares for you. He loves you. A songwriter says, Jesus loves us. Though we are weak, he is strong. The Bible refers to us in First Peter that we are a weaker vessel. He is strong. And when I was studying, I found out in the book of John, that when a stronger man comes, the lesser power gives way. There's no groom that will stand and watch an outsider or an enemy humiliate his bride and let that enemy go scot-free. If an earthly husband will not allow you to be humiliated, will not allow you to be distressed, how much more our heavenly father the Lord of hosts, our maker, our creator. Though you may have cried, though you may have asked questions, seen some things that have happened, or seen things going the other way, other than what you wish them to be, he is our groom. And he's working out a miracle for us. He's going to work out that miracle for you. The God of heaven will never leave you nor forsake you. He says before the need arises, he will bring the supply. The God of heaven is his name. Though you may be weak, you may not have the strength. You may have trusted him to see you through in a situation. And you think he's not coming through for you. Maybe it has tarried, maybe it has delayed. He is your bridegroom. The Bible says in the book of Revelation 21 that he will wipe away all your tears. The questions in your heart, the doubts and the fear and the unbelief will be taken care of by your groom because he is our bridegroom. Jesus Christ is our bridegroom. He paid the ultimate price just to see that you are fruitful, just to see that you are celebrated just to see that you are above what the world thinks of you. 
to restore back your joy, to restore back your sanity, to restore back your peace. He is your groom. The God of heaven is coming back. Jesus is returning back. To decorate you, his bride. And take you to a heavenly place. Where there's no tribulation, no pain, no sorrow, no anguish, no questioning. Open-mindedness. Love. He loves you unconditionally. He's not looking at your mistakes. A man that truly loves his wife, no matter what she does, when she says, I am sorry, he will pick her back, hug her, and welcome her back as his wife, as his bride, and forgive her from the depth of his heart. Jesus is our bridegroom. It doesn't matter how bad the situation is. It doesn't matter how terrible you think about yourself, how far you have gone. The bridegroom is coming back for you. Prepare yourself and get yourself ready. For no one knows when the trumpet will sound. No one knows when that time will be. No one knows when he will come for you. You have been betrothed to him. You are his bride. He created you for this purpose. And you have to serve him. In the name of Jesus. I have a few scriptures I have put down. That you can study with. 1 Peter 3 verse 7. Talks about the woman being a weaker vessel. Because you are his bride. Even if the enemy has conspired and he has concluded on your case, like he conspired and concluded on the case of the Jews in the days of Esther and Mordecai, the bridegroom came through. And that same Haman that, that, that wanted to destroy them, he had gotten the, sign the signature of the king. He has gotten all that he needed to conclude his mischief, to conclude his devilish desire. But the bridegroom came through for them. He is God. He's never too late. He's always on time because he's your bridegroom and you are his bride. You are created to please him. I have here 1 John 4 verse 4, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, Isaiah 5 verse, 12, verse 5, Isaiah 54 verse 5, 2 Corinthians 11 2, Ephesians 5 25, Revelation 21 from verse 1 to 8. He's your creator. He did not create you to destroy you. He did not create you to see you in pain. To see you wandering. He wants to help you. He desires to help you. He's knocking at the door. Recognize his voice and open the door for him to come in. Because he wants to live in you. He wants to stay with you. Jesus is your bridegroom. He's awesome. It's a glorious thing to have him as your bridegroom. Welcome him in into your lives. If you have not accepted him into your life as your personal Lord and Savior, I will lead you to him in a short prayer as you pray out loud with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today a sinner, lost, but you have found me today. Lord, I was wondering, but you have located me today. Thank you for your sweet words of praise, your love, your word, your words of love, your words of comfort. I accept you into my life today as my personal Lord and Savior. I welcome you, Jesus, into my life. Take preeminence over my life and let all that I live for be for you in the name of Jesus. Let my life be, O God of heaven, an expression of your love. In the name of Jesus. Have your way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for this once. Even as they yield, O God of heaven, to you. Even as they surrender to you, Lord. Accept them, O God of heaven. 
You say you will never turn your back on us. Accept them, O God of heaven, and let your will, O God of heaven, be done in their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know that it's done in Jesus' name. I love you, but Jesus loves you much more. As I will always tell you, pray, study the word. The Bible is there as your manual. Return back to the Bible whenever you are confused. Whenever you do not know what else to do. Instead of listening to man's, man's opinion, listen to the word of God. He will minister to you and he will give you that peace that you desire in your life. In the name of Jesus. I love you. Stay blessed until we meet again in Jesus' name. Amen.